Hello everyone, Jum Rin Su. So we are Say Ha, Teacher Cha, and Chino and Moika. Let's enjoy our presentation. Okay, first of all, I, I have a question for everyone here. Have you ever heard about Khmer uh, Portable Reading? Of course, you might not. But you might be shocked after I telling you the story. During Portable Reading, they killed thousands of teachers and destroyed system education system in Cambodia. After civil war, Pol Pot Britain, we try so hard to rebuild our country to be great again. At the time, Jaika comes to support us, as you can see in this. This is one of the type information about electrification access. As you can see, in 2003, that was so low electrification access, but now it almost 100% thanks to Jaika to support us at this. Not just only electrification, and you see here, so water supply also supported by Jaika. Here I would like to say that even electrification and drinkable water in Cambodia now is better. What we can learn from Japan, because Japan came to help us a lot. And Japan used to be in the same situation as the past time. Now Japan become the high country in the world. So, because Japan focusing on education, and Cambodia also would like to be like Japan. Now, I have a question. Why education escape poverty? Of course, good quality, uh, good quality of education brings good human resources. Good human resources bring, can lead country to be rich. We want to develop our human resources to, to work for like those who work for Toyota company. They can work just three or five weeks, then they can get more than $500. But the big problem now is, Jaika pointed out that our teaching method should be improved. And now we're working with Jaikar on teacher training college to develop some teaching method and also create camp kids content. As you can see, here is my effort that I created by myself on finding circle area and using for my students. Okay, the big important things in, in my content is I give my students the discussion time. So this promotes interactive learning and also the learning center. Yes, okay, as you can see here. Here is question that I give to my students to have the time, or to give them the time to think about the formula or something. Yes. Thank you, teacher Cha. Now let me tell you more about my school and my kids. So I am a teacher who teach in a rural area, Simri Province, Cambodia. I'm very so lucky that we that our school is one of the Jai Ga model schools, so we can use projector every day. But ICT class in a rural area has some issues. After raining, ICT class can uh, disassemble. Like this picture, I use blackboard. Now let's talk about my kids' parents. So most of the kids are from farmer family. Their parents work really hard and their income is really low. Moreover, some parents could then finish their elementary school due to their poverty. That is why they have a hard time helping the helping their kids with education. So what can we do? Yes, we create home learning site called Camp Kids. This site used by teachers to provide a quality education and kids can learn more at home. This is 
one of our content. You can see there is a Jewish problem in the right angle, right angle. But we overcome those mistakes by continually improve every day. How do I view my kids' homework? So after class, I print out the homework paper, keep, give it to my kids so they can practice at home and learn more about what we learn at school. Finally, with digital content, hand out homework, and home learning side, we could reduce 20% of repeater every year. Of course, we are all friends. We met more than 20 times in two years. We visited Cambodia for volunteer every time. We went there and showed good ICT education with teachers there. Cambodia schools are less teachers, shorter class hours, poor education, educational environment. We made mass teaching materials like this. We had fun learning with the children. It's important to do activities. The point is to meet the needs of the children. Why we visit there? We do activities and always stay with them. Our purpose is to think about classroom activities. We surely want to walk with them. We say it through empathy. Pay attention to empathy. Empathy means to keep in touch with uh, to throughout our daily lives. Face to face, online, we try to stand by them. Fake empathy means just giving money or just giving some goods. I'm so sorry to say that uh, most Japanese study tour uh, to make a good memory for them, not time collaboration. They visit and just get a good memory. It must be selfish. Even we are in Japan, we enjoy developing contents together. This is one sample. It starts interactive learning. What? It starts interactive learning. What animal do you like? I like cat. What animal do you like? I like cat. Ow. What? This is our driving SDG in our daily life. life. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Now, sorry, thank you for your presentation. The next presenters are Hong University and University of the Philippines.